In this video, I'd like to introduce you to something called shape tween. A shape tween is different than a motion tween. A shape tween consists of two ungrouped objects. It's like two vectors morphing together, as you can see here with this box opening and the water in the fish tank moving around and the transition from the curtains to the faces here, the transition of this rectangle on the computer screen and the plants waving in the fish tank. So for a shape tween, I need two ungrouped objects. So I'm gonna go over here to the tool panel and grab the Polystar tool. I'm gonna to scroll down to the properties panel and I'm gonna change polygon to star. And you see here I have the number of sides is five, that's perfect. And I'll click and drag. And now I have a star here on my stage. So that's keyframe number one. And you can tell it's an ungrouped object because I can click and drag it like that. If it was grouped together, it would move as a unit, right? I can't just tweak different pieces of it. So I'll go down the timeline to maybe about frame 15 or so, and I'm gonna click and add a blank keyframe. And then I'll grab some text, and I'll just type shape tween, and I'll move that to the center, maybe scale it up a little bit. And as you can see, the text is not ungrouped. It clearly has a blue border around it. So if I was gonna go ahead and right click here to add a shape tween, you'll see here I get what's called a broken tween. It's all dashed as opposed to having a straight line going across showing the tweening from one keyframe to another. So to fix that, I can just click and you'll see this is clearly a grouped object with the blue border around it. So I can go up to modify, break apart or press command B. So break apart has now broken apart my text from each other, which is a great way to do some text animation. However, if you look carefully, it still has a blue bounding box around it. So all of these are still grouped. Therefore, the tween is still broken. I'll select all the pieces of text once again, and I'll go to modify, break apart, or command B. And now clearly you can see that these are ungrouped objects and they're editable. And now the tween has a straight arrow going from the left keyframe to the right keyframe. I'll press return and we see our shape tween tweening from one object to another. The problem is with these shape tweens is we don't always have the most control. So let me give you an example. I'll delete this, I'll make a new layer and I'll grab a, a rectangle here. Okay, then I'll make another layer and I'll, I'll call this bottom of card and I'll make another layer and this will be the top. And I'm just gonna grab this keyframe here. I'll press the command key and select this whole sequence and I'll press the option key and click and drag to make a copy. And I'll change the color of the top of the card to say blue. And let's say I wanted this card to open up or a door. And let's say I want this keyframe to end up over here as if the door or the card in this case opened up and I wanted to have a little perspective. So I wanted something like that, go from right having the card open from left to right. Let's see what happens if we add a shape tween here. We do have two ungrouped objects, ungrouped object in keyframe one and an ungrouped object in keyframe two. You can tell because I can see the pixels as opposed to a blue bounding box. And I'll right click in between and create a shape tween. We see the arrow is straight across, so it's not broken, and I press play. Hmm, it's not really opening, right? It's just moving to the side. So interesting animation, but not what I'm looking for. So what I could do with shape tweening is use something called shape hints. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the first keyframe. When using shape hints, the first keyframe must be selected. So now that the first keyframe is selected, I'm gonna go up to modify, shape, and add a shape hint. And this little circle comes up, showing me that this is my first shape hint. If you look at this carefully, the point on the right-hand side of the card is pivoting to the center. And really, I want this corner to stay the same. So I want this top left-hand corner to stay right there, even when it opens up, so it pivots. So I make sure the first keyframe is selected, and I go to Modify, Shape, Add Shape Hint. This little red circle shows up with the letter A on it, showing me that this is my first shape hint. And I'm just gonna click and drag and have it snap to the corner of this card. On the second keyframe, I'll do the same. I'll bring the little A and I'll drag it up to the corner so it snaps to the corner of that pixel on the card. And now you'll see it turns green on the second keyframe and it's yellow on the first keyframe, showing me that it is locked into place. And now you'll see that Although I have some weird things happening, that pixel that I selected is remaining in place. So not a problem, we'll just go ahead and add another shape hint. Go back to modify, shape, 
add shape hint, and that one comes out as a letter B, our second shape hint, and I'll drag that to the top hand corner here, right? I want this pixel here on the first keyframe to pivot to the outside pixel here on the second keyframe. I'll drag that little B to the top left hand corner and we'll scrub the timeline to see what we have. Now you see we're getting a little bit closer. The card is kind of opening as we wish. So I'll go back to the first keyframe and add another shape hint. Modify shape, add shape hint, or command shift H if you'd like quick keys. And now we have our third shape hint, C, and I'll grab that one and place it on the right hand corner of the card. And on the second keyframe, I want that right corner to come all the way to the left. So I'll drag that to the left hand corner here. And again, we'll scrub the timeline. All right, we're almost there. Looks like we have one more to add. I always add the shape hints one at a time because sometimes two is enough. So again, we'll click in the first keyframe and we'll go to modify shape, add shape hint. And we'll take our fourth shape hint, the D, and we'll grab it and snap it on to the left side of the card. And on the last keyframe, I'll bring that D and snap it here so that this pixel pivots back and forth as well. And now we have the card opening and closing. Neat, huh? What's really nice about these shape tweens is they don't just tween the shape, they can also tween the color. So if the card was to actually to open, the inside of the card would be dark, and as the card opened, the light would shine in. So I'm gonna turn off the first layer here, the top of the card, and on the bottom card, I'm gonna set the first keyframe here so that the card is black. And then I'm gonna add another keyframe and I'll make that maybe a light yellow. Okay, so now I have two ungrouped keyframes and I'll right click in between to create a shape tween. And now we see that it tweens from black to a light yellow. So if I turn on the top layer, if I press play, I can see it open and the inside gets brighter. It's always good to have different tools in your toolkit and I'm looking forward to see what you guys can create. Have fun. Hope you enjoyed this getting started series with Adobe Animate. Happy animating.